Consider this riddle, which only 3% of people can solve. Imagine you're a doctor, and one of your patients is about to die from a tumor. You can't perform surgery, but you do have a ray gun, which can focus a high-intensity ray to destroy the tumor. Now, there's a problem. At this high intensity, the ray will also damage the healthy tissue it passes through. If you try to lower the intensity, while the healthy tissue is safe, it no longer has the energy to destroy the actual tumor. So, how can you destroy the tumor without damaging the healthy tissue? You can pause the video to think about it. The solution is very clever. Mount 10 ray guns around the patient and set each ray's intensity at 10%. Then, when you focus the ray guns, its low intensity won't damage the healthy tissue, but when combined, the radiation is high enough to destroy the tumor. Now, that answer required a creative insight to solve it. But, more importantly, you can see how it can be applied to the real-life problem of treating cancer. What this shows is that creativity isn't just limited to artsy things. It's important to almost every aspect of life, from breakthroughs in science, to creating jokes, to producing the next top business idea. In fact, IBM's 2010 survey of CEOs found that creativity was ranked as the most important quality for success. So, with that being said, here are the top three tips for improving your creativity. Number one, relax rather than concentrating harder. Ever wonder why so many good ideas are said to have come during long hot showers? Well, when we concentrate, our minds focus on the exact details of the problem. This narrow tunnel of attention stops us from thinking outside the box. However, when we relax, our attention broadens and these seemingly random thoughts start entering our minds. It is because of this that we imagine a wider range of possibilities and can combine these thoughts in novel ways. Now, multiple studies have linked broadening of attention to creativity. But the most interesting is how ADHD subjects perform better in creative tests and have more real-life creative achievements than control subjects. Here, their attention deficit actually helps them create more original ideas. Companies like Google have realized this and encourage their employees to take a break whenever they feel stuck. Now, this isn't to say you should completely lose focus. However, you shouldn't be so fixed that you can't consider more obscure possibilities. Number two, don't be afraid to take risks. A lot of the times, the fear of making a mistake stops us from being truly creative. Consider this study. Rappers got into a fMRI scan and started doing some freestyle rapping. When they do, you'll notice decreased activity in the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for self-monitoring and inhibition. The same thing happens when you ask jazz players to improvise. Now, this might be a bit obvious. Of course we have to take risks if we want to produce new and unconventional ideas. In fact, people who are more susceptible to peer pressure are less likely to be creative. But the good news is that merely telling people to be more individualistic and independent in their thinking leads to better performance on tests of creativity. This supports the idea that creativity isn't some talent you're born with, it's a skill that can be improved. So, don't worry so much about making mistakes when you're trying to be creative. And number three, sleep on it. Surprisingly, merely taking a nap increases your chances of breaking through a creative block. In one experiment, participants were given a problem and had to think outside the box to find the hidden abstract rule. Compared to those who stayed awake, participants who slept and returned back to this problem were twice as likely to gain insight. Psychologists believe this happens because of the incubation effect. When we take a break, the unconscious mind is still working on the problem and recombining thoughts to produce novel ideas. In fact, Paul McCartney said the melody for the song Yesterday came to him in a dream. Now, this all sounds a bit fake and pseudoscience-y. However, a meta-analysis of about 30 different studies on the incubation effect found that this phenomenon definitely had an effect. So, take a break or nap next time you need insight. And those are the top three tips to improve your creativity. For those that are still watching, here's another creative riddle for you. Using only six matches, create four triangles with sides of equal length. Comment below if you think you got an answer. Subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.